Hey everyone, hope you're well. This is Coins Kid. Just coming up to Bitcoin. Big up the Coins Kid crew. So remember, data, not emotion. This is something I did relay to you, and this is something I'm relying on to take profit and jump out of my positions in Bitcoin. Okay, data, not emotion. This is what I'm doing on this channel. Purely data, not emotion. Let's just get that into your brain right now. Data, not emotion. This is something we have to respect and pay attention to. Okay, the data, not emotion. So at the moment with Bitcoin, I don't see five waves up. Okay, on the micro, like I said to you, I'm looking for the five waves that will increase the probability, and you know that the fact that the data telling me I need to take profit or jump out my positions in Bitcoin. So I'm looking for the macro correction eventually and I think we just need to rely on the data to suggest that that is you know, going to rear its head basically. There are other key things I'm going to show you in the charts we need to pay attention to as well going forward. But again data not emotion. What I did say to you way back when in October after we got the September close right there, the data in this particular chart here, you know, the returns on the monthly time frame for Bitcoin after the best January, one of the best Januaries, look at that. So it was my anticipation this year for those that have been following the channel for a very long time we would see a massive impulsive move here for Bitcoin into 2023 and we've got exactly that right now you can't deny it I think we've come up something like 170 odd percent it's been an amazing move okay against the herd against the mentality there was a video that I made uh, towards the end of last year right there the five waves of death the counter trade on the macro which was the counter five waves of death on the on the micro just there in September which we you know we jumped on board with like there I said to you around about 1.5 percent loss for an 85 percent gain we're literally about 10 percent away from that right now that target of 47k that I gave you at the start of the year in January and equally I gave you again in September. So again, we're doing really well, just purely relying on the data, not emotion of the crowd, the sentiment, you know, the feeling of the market. It's just pure data. So again, I'm just relying on the data to tell me when I need to exit my Bitcoin position and jump ship and sell. So I'll relay that to you, you know, and obviously there'll be no bias if we start to roll and lose support at significant levels and start to, you know, fire off warning shots with the data, then that's a point in which we need to respect that data and sell, basically. But I don't see that yet. And this is something I relay to you, you know, for the past few weeks, I don't see any reason to short Bitcoin at the minute. So again, I'm just relaying that to you, okay? I'm looking for five waves on the micro, and I'll go through this with you, but the data in September just there was the first time, you know, since the previous cycle blow-off top just there, the year before that, that we'd put in a positive September. So this is the analysis and the confluence of my theory that was going to put in a massive impulsive move from September coming up, and we're doing exactly that. So in my theory, I think we're in a wave three, so I don't necessarily think this wave three is done just yet. So once it's done, we will be looking at some kind of macro way forward because don't forget from April to September we literally had a mac massive macro sideways consolidation wave too so the, the you know the corrective waves are lasting for quite a long time now there is an alternation case as well with this I'm going to show you everything I'm looking at because usually typically in impulsive waves and corrective waves we do have some kind of alternation that's exactly what we've had on the macro as well so I think that you know technically Bitcoin is in the final fifth wave of its large cycle and the confluence is the fact that the S&P 500 the DSY, so many you know things out there that I look at to confluence this analysis, XRP, chain link, things like that, you know, Ethereum. The confluence is in the data as well, you know, in this particular returns. Because if we take a look in September, the last time we had a positive September was the year before the previous cycles blow off top. Do you see that in 2017? The blow off top came in December of the following year. So, for example, once this you know impulsive moves done, possibly soon, if not into January, everyone will be super super bullish, and we go through that macro wave for correction, which could last very long for example april into september how many months was that that was one two three four five six months so we could have a six month correction into midterm next year and then have a, a huge huge final fifth wave and then blow off top towards the end of the year pretty much like the previous cycle you know and the data suggested it to us because the last time we had a september positive september was the year before the big blow off top of the previous cycle so again it's date not motion so there's kind of confluence in factors lining up right now for the perfect blow off top next year you know non-related to the halvening i know a lot of people sort of anticipating the halvening being affected but i've shown you the data in the charts that suggests that that's not true okay so anyway enough rambling i do apologize but what i'm trying to relay to you is the fact that the last time we had a positive september was the cycle you know before the year before the blow off top basically and this is a scenario i'm looking at that right now we're in a third wave of the final fifth wave and then we're going to have a wave four macro correction which i'm going to find for you as best i can and then boom we're going to come back up and have a final blow off top you know possibly an all-time high right there for bitcoin if we fail to break it in this way free. So let's dive into the charts right now and see what we can see for Bitcoin, okay? So look at Bitcoin on a daily time frame on the CoinsKid buy and sell indicator right here that I've coded. You know, I developed this indicator for the CoinsKid crew to purely rely on the data, not motion. We are currently in a buy signal. So again, we could just say, okay, kick back, relax, and wait for the sell signal. So again, if we start to see that sell signal, I'll relay that data to, to you as and when. But at the moment, just respecting the data, not emotion, like I said to you, what we do have from this bottom here was a buy, a sell, 
a buy buy before a major move to the upside okay and right now off this bottom here we've got a buy a sell a buy buy before a potential major move to the upside to take out the all-time high which is what this leg here from 2020 into 2021 actually did okay so if we are on the cusp of a major move and the data in the charts this indicator has told us that from that bottom there we've got the buy the sell the buy buy we've got the buy the sell the buy buy striking similarities to this big precursor to a major third wave then in theory we just should be coming up and taking out the high so again data not motion if we do start to break down in this particular indicator i will immediately alert you okay so i do get a lot of questions people saying how you know what time frame do i use the indicator on personally i think this indicator works really good on the macro you know just from a standpoint you don't need to find any bullish bearish divergence or whatever you just respect the dot basically but if you're looking to use it on the micro please do find confluence in you know the sell and buy basically whether or not you've got bullish divergence compression patterns with death crosses obviously on the sell signal you're looking for the death crosses within the apex of a bearish pattern and descending triangle or head and shoulders or whatever you know any of them bearish patterns that you spot right there on the micro time frames by the micro i mean you know the five minute 15 minute one hour if you're looking for micro trades on a daily basis so if you start to see the red dot find confluence in that analysis i will get some tutorial videos out for you but on the macro i think this works best on the daily on all the charts not just one chart not just bitcoin it works best on the daily on all the charts okay so again because of the daily we don't necessarily you have to find that confluence you just you know you've got the the sort of in out signals right there the buy and the sell basically but on the micro always find as much confluence as you can for example if you get a green dot look for you know golden crosses towards the apex 10 20 you make golden crosses on the micro time frame as well as compression patterns you know ascending triangles inverse head and shoulders and things like that which i've taught you okay so that's basically the coins kid buy and sell indicator you can get involved in that you know go to the coinskid.com website and just follow the procedure to get involved let's dive into the bitcoin chart right now and see what we can see okay but taking a look at Bitcoin on the weekly time frame, I think that's the top of an impulsive wave one there that topped in uh, 2019, wasn't it? And then we've got an impulsive wave top that topped just there in uh, 2021. And right now we're looking for another impulsive wave to top, basically, possibly uh, sometime next year. I'm looking at it as a, a potential scenario, okay? So within this box here, what we did do, if you take a look, it's got the ABC and we've got the ABC here as well, okay? So you can clearly see that this wave four took quite a long time, uh, a lot longer than wave two. And then this wave three took a lot longer than wave one. So in theory, because it's wave four has took quite a long time i would expect you know the fact that wave five is taking a long time because it's getting more stretched out and i've gone through this analysis with you that you know we've done this before for bitcoin however this time it's just taking longer and i've looked at a previous cycle where it's doing everything in this cycle that it's done before so i'm going to lay down a potential scenario right now that if we are impulsive and my analysis is correct and we are going to come up then what could it look like so i'm going to show you right now there's a potential pattern that could be begin to emerge here for bitcoin okay so that's a key level resistance see this level resistance here where we failed to close above that high so again what we've done is a potential scenario right now we come up like this if we come up and we get rejected which is possible and we start to come back like this this could be a way for correction that comes back and then goes again so this could become some kind of monster inverse head and shoulders pattern like this before your big blow off top phase of this fifth wave okay for bitcoin so this is a scenario i'm looking at over the next few weeks leading months or whatever if we do start to go vertical here and start to come back in a macro way for correction a zigzag because of the alternation of the flat correction just there in wave two so this is a one this is an abc two this is a three zigzag four the alternation then the final fifth wave should come up and then you've got you know your breakout of the inverse head and shoulders pattern right there for bitcoin there's a potential scenario okay something like this there's your left shoulder there's your head Running. you come up get rejected the high everyone's like oh no it's going to zero and then comes back makes the right shoulder then you've got your final phase the big blow off top where could that go to from a sort of technical standpoint if it is a head and shoulders an inverse and shoulders pattern sorry then your fifth wave could be the largest and it could send you all the way up there now is it fueled by the etf or something i don't know but like i said to you there is something in the charts here that's something fueling a big major move here for bitcoin obviously the invalidation in the short term is obviously if we begin to roll and sweep this high then i think i'm completely wrong at this point and this could mean be some kind of retracement before another move to the downside where it gets really 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 squeaky bum time for bitcoin but this is a potential scenario that i'm looking at right now you know we've had this one corrective wave two this is a three comes up possibly gets rejected creates the right shoulder which is a wave for correction comes back up and takes out boom we're in the blow off top phase just there for bitcoin okay so possible scenario if it plays out amazing we wrote it like an absolute boss and i'll show you the invalidation of this particular scenario going forward okay hope you enjoyed the update stay healthy stay strong stay tuned take care everyone back to another update on bitcoin Bye bye